Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have some timeline of mathematics. So we have this entire group of key mathematicians that have made a difference throughout history. But let's put in context some of the times and some of the other events that have been going on while our mathematicians are doing things. So for example, we have Pythagoras, of course, Pythagorean theorem about 600 BC. But if I were really wanting to get a handle on when that was, well, that'd be about the time that Buddha was born. And so if Buddha was born here, who becomes, of course, the basis for Buddhism, that's about the same time as Pythagoras. Now, if we move a little bit further forward, Plato is about the same time that we have the forming of the Acropolis there in Rome. So we have this exciting series of thought and this exciting philosophy being debated and math becomes part of that. Now, as we move a little further forward, you know, as we kind of have a gap here in the middle, but that doesn't mean nothing was happening. It just means it may be a little bit more political. So for example, we have pi that is put together somewhere around the 260 BCs. That's where pi starts getting refined from 3.14, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to something a little bit closer to what we're used to. So as we move on into this more political empty period, that's, of course, where Julius Caesar falls. And once Julius Caesar comes into play, we really have a change in the politics and in the nature of the Roman Empire. And he's going to be uh, dying about 44 BC, and that's going to last, of course, till the fall of Rome. So you have Ptolemy, you have some of these other folks that are doing various math, but as they do it, they're part of the Roman Empire till about 465 AD, and you have the fall of Rome. Now, of course, that's a bit of a misnomer. It didn't fall all in one day, but it did decline. And at the end of that decline, we now pick that up here somewhere around 500 AD, and you'll notice the names begin to change, and it begins to be more Muslim scholars. Well, because we have a political change in history. So we'll pick up our story next time from there.